First, John Finolio in the newsroom with that part of our coverage. John. Well, Sherrod, Mikey, each day the numbers are more grim than the next. There were more than 900 COVID-19 deaths reported just today. Now, as the virus spreads, the Trump administration is blaming the CDC, China, and others for the delay in the federal government's response to the pandemic. With the death toll rising amid a nationwide shortage of basic medical supplies. It's going to be vicious for a period of time, but hopefully we're going to be over this. President Trump is no longer downplaying the coronavirus pandemic. But he is stopping short of calling for a nationwide stay-at-home order. There are some states that don't have much of a problem. There are some, well, they don't have the problem. They don't have thousands of people. But public health officials say the deadly pathogen knows no boundaries. My advice to America would be that these guidelines are a national stay-at-home order. Uh, they're, they're guidelines that say that, look, the more we social distance, the more we stay at home, the less spread of disease there will be. The virus spreading rapidly, more than 200,000 known infections across the U.S., more than 4,700 dead in less than two months. The White House now attempting to blame the Centers for Disease Control for the government's slow response to the outbreak. I will be very uh, candid with you and say that in mid-January, the, the CDC was still assessing that the risk of the coronavirus to the American people was low. But just days after the first infection was identified in the U.S. on January 20th, a top CDC official was sounding the alarm. We need to be preparing as if this is a pandemic, but I continue to hope that it is not. And while the president praised China's handling of COVID-19 back in February and claimed the U.S. had it all under control. I've spoken to uh, President Xi and they're working very hard and uh, if you know anything about him, I think he'll be uh, in pretty good shape. I think it's going to be under control, and I think uh, I can speak for our country, for our country is uh, under control. A new report from Bloomberg citing three U.S. officials details how China has been underreporting both the total cases and deaths it suffered from the disease, according to a classified report from the U.S. intelligence community to the White House. Well, the, the, the reality is that uh, we could have been better off if China had been more forthcoming. I don't believe the president has ever belittled the threat of the coronavirus. The nation's top coronavirus expert is reportedly facing death threats. The Washington Post says Dr. Anthony Fauci now has police protecting him at all times. Fauci is one of the only officials within the White House who has publicly corrected the president's misstatements about the disease, and that has garnered him criticism from some fervent right-wing voices. I'll send it back to you. All right. Thank you, John.